This is a 1927 Johnson K35. It weighs in at 60 pounds. It's probably uh, 10, 20 pounds lighter than the P30, which was six. And this engine puts out real good horsepower and it's less cubic inches as well. Uh, this is probably the first restoration I ever did uh, of an old one. It, after I got out of the service, it was uh, hanging out in the, the bottom of a junk pile from the business I bought from a, my old boss who I worked for when I was a teenager and this engine was sitting on the rack at that point but by the time I bought it when I was in my middle 20s it was buried at the very bottom of a junk pile and there ain't much of it left uh, when I first restored it it had the original lower unit and power head and believe it or not the coil and condenser which had been outside uh, for probably five or six years while I was gone uh, it uh, still works and still tests well and to this day it's still working well it's one of those flat condensers that's probably mica uh, but it still operates still has a good fat blue spark and still tests well uh, muffler can has a relief underneath it as you can see underneath there with a lever to move it back and forth and this has uh, cutouts that were an accessory offered by Johnson uh, in the in the 20s early 20s and uh, you undo these bolts and uh, you got direct exhaust of course there would be a lot of complaints from whoever heard it but I do believe this engine was raced because the handle on it uh, it was on it when I got it and it's a twist grip handle again another uh, accessory from Johnson um, I made the rest of it it's sort of a copy of a an aftermarket rig that was available at that time you can see it working there there it's going to slow and fast and then uh, to operate the choke you uh, flip this thing down now the chokes on then you give it some throttle fire it up and then once you've got it primed and ready to go you put this back on and now it operates as one uh, so right down there is the adjustment for fuel and as I say it runs very very well um, on my single step hydroplane, it did 28 some odd miles an hour with the uh, racing prop that's on it. Um, 18 miles an hour at uh, 3850. Uh, a little bit more revs than it was made to go, but uh, it does run extremely well. Like all Johnsons, it's a great, great engine. And uh, very pleased with it. It's like I say, it's one of those ones that I've had forever. And I've made a, I've ruined a lot of stuff on it. I've f toasted the original power head, blew uh, both jugs off from over advancing it. The uh, handle here held it together uh, from falling completely apart. And I do believe the lower unit, I also found another one that was uh, new and the power head as well. <coughs> but I've had it for a lot of years and it's been a great runner. So now we'll go and try it out and see how it goes on this boat.
Fosty says, this is the end of the show. That's all. Goodbye. Folks. <laughs>